Hello everybody, Mark here. Today I'm going to be making a bacon and coleslaw toasty. There we are. You've seen this before, the regular co-op uh, coleslaw. Now this is regular. I'm, I, uh, I had to buy diet one. I, I would suggest getting the regular because diet doesn't taste quite so brilliant. But bacon and coleslaw and possibly some cheese just to fill it in. I'm kind of, you know, I've got an idea in my head, but I'm making it up as I go along mostly. Okay, so first order of business, got to get the, got to get the bacon on the go because that's going to take the longest time. It's uh, what's going on here? It's stuck together. Okay, I'm going to be putting four. I'm going to use four slices, I think. Uh, yeah, four slices. Okay, now it's stuck to stuck together a little bit. All right, we've got four slices of bacon. There we are. Now, because of the size of the bacon, to you know, uh, compared to the size of the air fryer, I've had to sort of fold them up a little bit. They won't lay flat like they would in a grill or a frying pan. Okay, so I'm going to put them in. Um, it goes up to 200. I'm going to put them in for 180. Turn the timer off about 15 minutes, although I'll keep an eye on it um, in between. I, I can't remember, it takes about sort of 10 minutes plus to uh, cook the bacon. All right, in the meantime, I'm going to prepare the bread. Now, this is, again, just regular, regular bread. You can use any, any kind of bread. If I could be bothered, I'd make my own bread in my, because I've got a bread making machine, but um, it involves a little bit of planning ahead, you know. It takes like three hours to make a loaf. Um, okay. Now, when the bacon's done, what I'll do then is to put each of the two slices under the grill, toast one side, and then turn them over so it's uncooked side up and then that's where the ingredients will go all right next step the bacon is pretty much done i'm just keeping it hot in the uh, air fryer and now i'm going to toast the bread which i should have prepared i'm going to put the i've preheated it i should have put the uh, the level near the top so that way it won't take so much time to toast. Uh, when, when one side is toasted, I'm going to flip it over, put some cheese, put some stuff on it, and then maybe put it back in the grill. All right, the next step, right, I've, I've, I've uh, toasted one side. Now I'm going to turn the uncooked side up and place some cheese on each of the two slices. Okay, that's cheese on both. Now for some, what is this? Salami. Some salami, there we are. This costs like a quid for a pack of this. Now, I'm not gonna go too mad with this because I, um, I did a sandwich with this stuff the other day. Can't remember what I did. Uh, anyway, it had, it had a lot of meat in it. So uh, I'm going to put salami on one side. Now this is chorizo, sliced chorizo. Now I've, I've cut some slices into halves again. So I'm going to put that on the other side. So there's four salami, four chorizo. Okay, now Put it under the grill. There we go. So there you have it. Under the grill. Should take another just a few minutes. We're not really cooking the meat. We're just sort of uh, heating up the meat and giving it some temperature. But mainly melting the uh, cheese. And then when that comes out, we'll put the bacon and coleslaw with it. There we are. The cheese and salami and the cheese with... 
whatever that other stuff was. That's been that's um, nice and toasted now. Now, the next step is to put uh, the, the bacon has already been cooked. It's still hot. It's been in the air fryer, just just waiting to be used. And uh, okay, so what I'm doing. Yeah, so this is going to go together. So there's four slices there, two on each. In fact, I don't really need to sort of put two on it. What I'll do, I'm going to put some coleslaw. There we go, coleslaw on there. Give it a good, um, not too much. I don't want to be slopping around all over. But what I'll do, I'll put the bacon over there. That's what I'll do. Onto the other. to the other piece and then basically just press it down get a knife um, I say yeah you've got your option there to cut it into halves or cut it into triangles I'm gonna go somewhere in the middle okay Now, there you have it, salami and chorizo, that's the one, salami, chorizo, four slices of bacon, a bunch of cheese, now this is a regular block of cheese, I don't think I showed you me cutting it, what it was, normally I'll go for the um, sliced cheese is a whole lot better it melts a lot better it tastes great but this they didn't have any so i had to go for the regular now it's quite a thick sandwich there you go let's uh anyway let's give it a try It's a whole lot different than a regular bacon sandwich because you've got a whole lot of other flavours in there. The uh, the coleslaw, the salami, chorizo. She, you know, it's all yeah. It's all it's all it kind of takes the taste away from the bacon. And uh, but yeah, it's very nice. I find the, um, the the toasties, uh, I'm not keen on the toasted uh, bread for this particular one. Although it would be the best option, so I'm not sure a sandwich would uh, sort of hold all this together. Hmm. Yeah. A very solid sandwich. There's a few drops coming out from the uh, coleslaw. But, um... Yeah, it's very nice. It's, it's crunchy from the toast. It's got three types of meat in there. The coleslaw is a good idea because of, because of the moisture, because of the dry toast and the um, all the meat. You need something with crunch and moisture to um, you know put a bit of difference in there. Yeah, but very nice. I'm going to hold that up just one more time. It's, it's, it, it does. Um, yeah, it, it leaks a little bit because of the coleslaw. But uh, it's a very good combination. Mm. Very nice. Goes to show. With a bit of inventiveness, you can make something quite tasty with just, um, you know, a little bit, just a few little ingredients that are laying around. Okay. Well, well that's that. That's the sandwich of today, and uh, thank you for watching.